Chase, this is a little dragon for Little Dragons production with the first episode of Celtic Warfare Season 3. And today we're going to talk about Sword and Shield. Let's begin. So we're going to talk about two techniques today and the first technique is the hammer technique. And what I mean with hammer technique is that you keep your hand firmly in line with the sword like this and then you have the handshake we're going from hammer to handshake which is known as the sword casting blow so it's like you would throw your sword forward now the other thing we will be looking at is these two techniques and other techniques as well in combination with both the large shield and the smaller shield first thing you need to do is to keep the shield in front of you and due to the size of the shield you need to keep this shield even more in front of you so somewhere like this then you tilt it to the side slightly so if you see it's more tilted to this side and this is to make sure that if a strike comes right here it will just slide off and if you are going to take a direct hit then don't take it uh, statically but push it away so if somebody attacks you push it away the other thing you need to think of is that the stance which you are standing in you should keep your shield here then and your sword like this Due to the size of the weapon, you can actually stand in the offensive stance. And if you don't know the stances, link in the description of the uh, last video, talk about stances. So, the first technique is where you hold your hand in the hammer grip, which means that your knuckles are just straight in line compared to the handshaking grip where your knuckles are slightly turning like this. So here you have the hammer, handshake, hammer, handshake. The actual technique with the hammer technique means that you need to use your wrist a lot. So you, you are actually the one who does most of the work, not the sword. With the other technique is the other way around, we will see that soon. So you just keep it in line and as with other techniques and as I've been telling you before moving your hand and arm around makes up for different cuts so you can cut the side the other side from right up side the other side even down other way down as you're observing, I am just moving my wrist. I'm not move. I'm not going into another grip or anything like that. It's still the same grip. The second technique is the sword casting blow or sword ca casting technique. And here you imagine that you throw a ball forward. So what you do is just to throw the sword forward. Uh, with the exception of you're not going to actually throw away your sword but you're just going to throw it forward like that exactly like that <laughs> and you can do this in different directions right uh, a little bit angled completely at the side and when you do this attack instead of even if I do the I can do the recovery like this attack and back there is a risk in that and if you don't know what you're doing you could end up lining up in here so throw it forward and then use the momentum because if you use the momentum and then strike again with the same type it's easy throw it forward and as you go up here is enough you can already cut the 
otherwise you could recover here. You could go with it. And you're not going to go all the way here, but you're going to go drop it. You already recovered. You could go way back here because you want to make another cut, or you realize afterwards that you can't make that cut, and you can move the other way around. Adapt to your situation. If you look at right before we start with the techniques, as I said before, it's really important to actually protect your hand while you do the attack, and you, you should do the same thing with the larger shield. We're going to look at that as well. So if you we'll start with the actual stance again, slightly tilted, there you have the first technique. It was the first technique, the normal sword slashing or cutting technique or whatever you want to call it. And here you have the sword casting blow. If we look at the larger shield, it's exactly the same thing. Just move forward with the shield, keeping your hand protected. Even with the first technique, where you get even more forward, you can protect your hand. And with this shield, you could even move like this. So you're tilting it to the side and forward, so you have the back part. So you attack. You're still protecting your arm and hand which holds the weapon. So I would do the techniques in full speed showing you how it looks. But before that we're going to look at the actual thrusting technique again. So you know what you're supposed to do. You have two types of thrusting. You have the jab thrust or what is known as the caveman thrust where you just do like this almost. You could do even let it uh, throw it a little bit forward, almost like when you do the casting, sword casting blow. And the thing is that the other technique which I have shown you is the simple twist thrust technique. So thank you for watching, like, comment and subscribe and as always have a nice day, cheers.